Hi friends, in this video, I'll talk about Illumina's technology, short read sequencing. Illumina tried to acquire Pacific Bioscience for over a billion dollars. I think it was 1.2 billion. Illumina was interested in the Pacific Bioscience long read sequencing technology. The acquisition was blocked because they fear that Illumina would dominate the entire market. And I understand this fear because they already dominate like 70 to 80 percent of market share. So in this video, I'll be covering the pros and cons for the long and short read technology. I'll also talk about why I may sell Illumina stock if I don't see a certain thing happening in the long term. I'm also going to simplify things. The whole point is to understand and that's about it. Before I go on talking about Illumina, we need to know our why in investing in Illumina. We invest because we want to grow our wealth, our money to grow. So when you invest, you are putting your money at risk. We need to balance the risk. Too little risk, your wealth will get stuck and too much risk, your wealth will disappear. So for me, when I pick a stock, I will ask myself, can this stock 10x, could it 10 times with moderate risk? If the answer is no, obviously it's to walk away. The last thing I want is to invest in some low risk companies, invest in them and see my capital grow so little. Or worse, invest in super safe companies and one day disruption comes and wipes out the entire company, the safe company. I believe this is a problem most investors are facing right now. So that's one of the very big reasons why I keep making these videos to help you guys invest a lot better. Let me quickly talk about Illumina's uh, technical charts before we move on to the research. So in my previous Illumina's video, I was telling you guys, look, this is going to be the ceiling and guess what happened? It is the ceiling. Let me br roughly brief you what happened. So the stock price went up, it hit a ceiling here. How did I draw this ceiling? If you zoom out, see, multiple ceilings. So this is a very, very big resist resistance. And I also mentioned to you guys, I need to see a full candle above this resistance line here before the bullish play will be going on on the next leg. The next leg meaning to say, the stock move continuously upwards. So right now, uh, what happened is the stock price hit here and it came falling back down. But somehow the fall was paused at this level. I'm going to move the support line upwards here. When there's a big gap moving upwards and also the stock price fell to this line and it paused. It didn't go any lower and it continued its way up. So this is a very, very strong support line at about $335. I do not foresee this stock dropping anything below this point here because if you extend this line, it coincides with previous resistance points. So once this line is being broken, the new support. Concluding the technical charts, Illumina is going to range now between about $380 to about $335. Until I see a full candle above this line here, the bullish play will continue. The next earnings is on August 4th and I foresee a very, very strong quarter because you know, Flu19 has caused a lot of people to start doing a lot of research and I won't be surprised if Illumina's consumable sales will just drastically fly up. What's my bull case for Illumina? Look, I'm not looking at like 10 to 20% growth a year. I'm looking at a future where there's going to be mandatory for everyone to get their genome sequence. I covered this why in my two previous video about Illumina. It's not about if it's ever going to happen but it is when. It's not going to make sense not to. You know, it saves lives and it saves the government plenty of money. So now, we know the why. Let's go into the long read versus short read. And by the way, friends, appreciate the early thumbs up. The whole goal here is to read the full length of the genome. There are two ways, the long read and the short read. Illumina does the short read and have majority share of the entire market. Pacific Bioscience does the long read. Both have its advantages and disadvantages, and I'll explain. Please note I'm not a scientist, so forgive me in any errors in the words I use. Just, just get the gist and the summary of it. So this is our target sequence. We want to read the entire line. The problem is there is no technology to, that can read the entire line. So what we have, we have the long read sequence and the short read sequence. So long read sequence is reading as much as they can because there's no technology to read all the way, there will be gaps in between. Short read sequencing is as good as you yeah, are reading short reads and you try to compile everything to reconstruct the entire line to read the entire genome. So for short reads, this is what they do. So this is something they want to sequence. They break it up in many small parts. The thing is, because there are many gaps in between, they need to sequence this thing many times. So they will like sequence here, sequence here, they will sequence it many, many times and overall, 
they will overlap all these results to get a read that looks something like that. So for Illumina sequencer, how they do it is that they attach all these points to a piece of glass. So say this is a piece of glass here. They will attach all this to a piece of glass and this is how the Illumina sequencer reads short read. This is how Pacific Bioscience sequencer work. They have some sort of a ring here. What they'll do, they'll feed the genome around this ring here so it goes through this ring and as this thing goes through this ring here is the reader so this ring reads this sequence going through the biggest problem is when this genome goes through the reader this genome goes through at 1000 bits per second the fastest reader available out there can only read at 150 bits per second so this results in a lot of broken reads that means you are able to read a little bit and it's all broken so the error rate becomes really really high for long reads so what they have got about doing this is they actually feed it into a ring system and it keeps reading and reading and reading so if i were to draw this out it basically reads like this a circle it reads like this and because it has a lot of errors, it keeps reading and reading and reading and reading. And overall, you compile everything together, it has a less than error rate of about 1% to 5%. This is still quite high error rate. The advantage of short reads is cheap and fast. Illumina did a fantastic job to bring the cost down from like $3 million to less than $1,000. Think about it this way. The only way technology gets widely adopted is when cost is brought down substantially. Think about SpaceX. Reusable rockets make space more accessible. Cheaper electric cars bring wider adoption. Remember electric cars last time was just wasn't really possible. I remember 20 years ago when I took an airplane. Airplane was a lot more expensive back then. So now a lot of people can fly. Application for short reads are better because it's cheaper and faster. Short read is also better for stuff with less base pairs. Do not humans have like 3.1 billion base pairs while a simple bacteria have about 2 million? So I was looking through all the sequences available and Illumina sequences have the lowest error rate and it is cheap. So it has a very good balance. That's why they have a very, very big market share. The advantage for long reads are better for stuff with bigger base pairs. Long reads contain more information compared to short reads. However, it is really 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 expensive so in summary short reads are much cheaper to produce and are completely adequate but longer reads provide more sequences that can be used to assemble a genome long reads are a better solution in the long term but the cost now is like so much more i do not see the cost coming down for long reads that will match short reads anytime soon the, but the thing is, if I do not see Illumina taking steps in the next few years to go into the long read segment, I will sell the stock. So right now, it is still a very, very, very strong position and selling now it is really dumb. My confidence in the company is reflected in the percentage I dedicate my portfolio. I hope you learned something. Liking the video helps reach more people, helps me in my mission and as always, invest safe.